Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, please come back tomorrow. Today, we are all very excited because James is going to his very first trial swim lesson. Well, pulled up and I looked like for parking information on my phone and I had the time wrong. I added 10 minutes to noon and it was actually 11.50, like it was, I knew it wasn't noon, I just thought it was, I just had the 10 the wrong way. And now I'm really sad about it. But the funny thing is, is James fell asleep like literally two minutes before we arrived. And so now he can nap. We're getting some Panera. And now we can go to my cousin's um, baseball game. He's a college baseball player. So there are silver linings. But I am really... I'm really mad at myself. Okay. Panera's Mediterranean sandwich. Sandwich. Panera's Mediterranean sandwiches are plant-based. I'm not sure about this bread. We might have needed to switch the bread, but that's all right. And then I got this big old green tea. All right, there's my old campus. I went to school here for one school year. Illinois Institute of Technology. This is where we met Tyler. This is where we met Tyler. I'm gonna go with Tyler later. I'm just chilling in the car. In the parking lot. It's like the student center right there. That tower over there is IIT tower. is really cool. Like think tank innovation area. Oh, here comes the train. When I be in lecture in half the buildings. Your lecture would have to stop when this train would come through. Good times, good times. Back when I was gonna be a double, double bachelor engineer, but it's very expensive private school and I'm a terrible student and I think I failed 60% uh, of my classes the year I spent here, but I just didn't go to class and didn't do homework, which is not a good way to live. That's a, a gym right there with an Olympic sized pool in it. And the baseball field is the right. I think actually the semester might be over. I see a lot of students moving out of the housing over here. Hey man, I'm sorry, but no swim class today. Mom and dad kind of messed it up a little bit, kind of goofed. But a bunch of your cousins and aunts and uncles are over uh, watching a baseball game. You want to go see a little bit of it? That's where mom is. He wakes up like me, just solemn and quiet. All right, I got James out in a fresh diaper in his, out of his swimsuit. Um, oh, you hold my hand? This is the best part about all this, this seat down, is we have all this space that I don't have to go outside into the cold or anything just to change him and be, have, get a stretch of legs when we drive to Florida. Follow her. Follow her every move. There is a lot of food. <laughs> we got the croissant. You want my camera back? Sure. So good. James is enjoying the grassy field behind Ed Glancy Field. Whoa, where are you going? 
So it's not the fact that we're days away from having a second child come home with us that makes me feel really old. It's the fact I just realized that it's been 10 years since I went to this school. Because I went, I came here before our college program. So it's, I think it's 11 years since I attended this school as a freshman. Uh, we're just walking around underneath the track, the train tracks now. But we are getting far from the field, so we have to go back. James, we gotta go back. Unfortunately, they were losing when we left, but it was still great to see my cousin Ben on the pitch. Um, and yeah, I have to edit when we get home. I think the boys might go to the park. It's so nice out. It's only 57 degrees. Well, that's still good. I thought it was going to be cold. certain about the bread, like I said, but that is their sandwich. <laughs> Look at this gloriously sunny room. We got windows open, blinds open. James is playing with his toys. We're going over to the park and I'm going to take a quick shower and then we're going to go to the park while Sarah edits before the Cubs game. We just realized that our friend Tyler, we just assumed, because he was supposed to come to the game yesterday, but it got delayed to today. We just assumed t Tyler, you know, tell me, tell me Tyler was going to come with us today, but we just found out that he can't make it today. We just, we just like, assumed we didn't even talk about it yesterday. Yeah, we said, like, the tickets are updated, implying, like, they were his tickets. But then he just told us, like, no, he was actually, like, he can't make it today. And I was like, well, we'll to make sure you come to the game soon, so. I, I hear dates have, from my midwife. They told me that dates are really good for prepping for labor. So I'm going to put them on these crackers with cream cheese. I love dates, but those look disgusting. Those look like zombie eyeballs. Hey right, James, there's a lot of people at the park, okay? So hopefully the sand is dry and we'll get some time on the swing. You ready? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Activities at the park with all these kids here. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Fun at the park, James? Yeah. Is it that so good? Oh, yeah. We'll put some chips in here, too. James, we almost have the park to ourselves. But nothing can amuse him more than, oh, he found a ball. He also found a stick, and he's been running around this entire place just growling since he got the stick. Isn't it the most gorgeous day, James? And we're off. We left the park, but we're gonna take the long walk home. Um, game is in an hour, so we'll probably get home and start getting ready to go head over towards Wrigley. It's almost that time where just our neighborhood looks just absolutely stunning. It is like I can feel because we're getting closer to the lake here that it's getting cooler and the wind is cold. And I know when the sun's down, it will be cold. So we will still need jackets, but light jackets. We got tater babies and hot ready-made stuff from Jewel. It took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but it's uh, very fresh. So we're not we're gonna miss the first pitch and the national anthem, but that's okay. We're going. I think we have tickets tomorrow too. Yeah, yeah. So and I'd rather have a comfortable dinner and take our time and, and not rush over there if it's gonna be more enjoyable. And we can make yeah, sure we I'm get there tomorrow. Feeling so hot, and I'm yeah. hoping that this helps me. Um, I don't know mind? what about a hot, well grilled. <laughs> Chicken sandwich from Jewel that who knows how long it's been sitting there is gonna make you think it's you're gonna feel better, but it'll give you substance. We're giving ourselves like... empathy because you are about to have a child at any moment. 
Did you know? Yeah, you could. You can go into labor at any time. I got barbecue sauce and ranch. Thank you. You comfy? I decided if I was going, I was going to be comfy. So here I am. <laughs> well, we're making it. Look at this sun. Boom. Yeah. All right, James wanted to bring Rex, but we couldn't let that happen. So we just brought Goofy. We're actually, like, we, I just didn't, I didn't want to carry him. We live, like, three quarters of a mile away from Wrigley. And the parking for the stroller is, like, a block away. So my mind tells me it's not necessary, but today I just, I wanted to. So we're, we're strolling until a block away. Like yeah, and then we'll, we'll valet park it. Yeah, and that's like super easy. It's not like a difficult task. No, like we're passing it. Yeah. So I yeah. think it's it's good. It's good. How you feeling? Feeling good. Are you going to give birth to Teddy in Wrigley Field? <laughs> no. If you go into labor, gonna we're going to go to home plate. Yeah. What'd you say? If you go into labor, we're going to rush you to home plate and you're going to give birth on home plate. I'm going to be like on the cover of the Chicago Tribune. Oh, wow. That's like oh, such wow, a local love statement right there. Like, <laughs> like who want, like, only people who like come from cities that have like, like a well-established newspaper are like, oh, I aspire to be on the cover of the, like the New England Gazette, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, top of the second, Cubs are leading one to zero. They got their butts kicked earlier today though, so. Since I showed the scoreboard, the Dodgers scored a run. And since we sat down, they scored three more. So now it's four to one. I told you it is. <laughs> The next batter, running fielder, Shea Suzuki. I love this song. Some huggy bears from Jamesy. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. I thought it said Michael Bay. The music artist Michael Ray. Coyote Cubs, how are we feeling tonight? Let's get a little fitty for our Cubbies. Take me out to the ball game. I don't care if I never get back when we root, root, root for the Cubs. Just nothing feels better than walking out and seeing like this building lit up still. The street closed off, somebody selling t-shirts and hats. Look how cozy Sarah looks. I'm hopeful that this will be our last chilly game. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the 80s like next week. Um, so pretty much since the moment we sat down, we decided we were going to the gas station on the way home and getting fountain pops. So we just needed that crisp. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Put James down. I've been doing some stretches and Peter just helped me with one of the stretches. And I don't know that one was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a leg. Draped off the couch into a little twist. Yeah, with like applying pressure. Yeah, I was like <laughs> to her. I only hip. do it twice a week, but to do it during labor. Oh. Well, did I get? Sun? I like. I, I think I had a combination of got... sun and windburn. Wow. We should actually go to bed soon because we have a big. We had a big day today, and we have a big day tomorrow. Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. It's 
good to be home. Good to be home. Thanks. Oh. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. I FaceTime my sister. Happy Mother's oh Day. Oh my gosh, he is Breakfast of Champions, Freedom Champs. All right, I'm going to go. Thank Start you. Taking. Good morning, we're so glad to hear every day. Like every day, so you can join this video. Make sure you come back every day. Yay! He's clapping for strawberries. All right, we're about to go off to brunch out in the suburbs at our cousin's. This is what I made. Sarah found the recipe. I made it. It's like crescent rolls, cinnamon, and deliciousness. They are so good. <laughs> We're gonna go. We have made it. We're actually like the first people here, which is funny because we're like some of the furthest. <laughs> Are you ready? The great thing about having a bunch of cousins, you get a bunch of little people toys gifted to you. All right, so James fell in water, so he's having a good time. He's got a new outfit on. Um, and aspire to bring a, a piece of food that is so good that you go home with no leftovers. Boom. Hooty who? What are you doing? Hi. Alrighty, we are done with brunch. We are going to spend the afternoon at Christina and Grant's. Um, but first, we are at the cemetery, and we haven't been here in a while. We're going to check how things are after the winter and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. We're back at the Sicards in the backyard. Going to play because it's still nice out. There you go. There's a baseball right there, too. Oh, truck. Yeah. What are you doing up there? Just bad things. <laughs> I think we're gonna go get some hot dogs with the grill. Ooh. Before we go to the baseball game tonight. Ooh, he's got mommy's glasses on. Yeah, that's so nice. Give him hugs. Give him hugs. So he doesn't shiver. <laughs> but we're shivering out here. Oh, you're so sweet to him. Gotta keep each other warm. I'm so cold. Yeah? I'm so, so cold. Uh, James and I are taking a walk over to Pete's Fresh Market to pick up some hot dogs and some other things for dinner. So we're leaving here around 4 30 to go to Cubby's game tonight. What is it called when your dog just acts like a human? Because that's what this dog is doing. Also, we got dogs that are pretty much done. We got pasta salad, chips, chips potato salad. We ate. <gasps> you ate the chips? Are you going to have a hot dog? Probably. Ooh, James, you dancing. <laughs> Do a plate. We got harmonious going. Christine's gonna have a baby any minute. <laughs> I'm gonna have a baby any minute. Ooh, you guys are doing choreography? <laughs> We're home watching Bluey. James woke up from his nap. Oh, thank you. And we did not go to the Cubs game. I thought we'd have more time in between. I thought it would be a little bit warmer out. No. Right, but it's like nice to have just on having a relaxing evening to finish on our Sunday. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. And Mother's Day. And Mother's Day. I think we should just order food for it because I don't want to cook and you shouldn't have to cook on Mother's Day. So let's think about it. <laughs> Hello, Sarah from the future. We did not sign off last night. We ended up ordering food and going to bed way too late, but we all just like, we're totally, totally exhausted. I feel so, so grateful to um, have had such a lovely Mother's Day with our family and Teddy and my tummy and James, obviously, all of our, our angels and our embryos. Um, 
it was special but it was obviously our first one without my mom so it was tough and last year like this time last year you'll start to notice that at the end of our vlog there won't be a vlog from last year because this is when um, she was first showing signs of being sick and we stopped vlogging because it wasn't ours to share and so yeah it's just now now we're hitting we're starting to see all of those yearly reminders and of course Mother's Day we were we were thinking of her constantly so thank you so much for watching this double feature and it is good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.